recording king. I think there might be an actual model number thing, but I don't remember it. So it's a, oh, did I say recording king? I meant Kalamazoo. <laughs> so Kalamazoo made in like the 30s, I think, is when they made these. And I've had it for a while, but never really played it very much. So this is the original bridge right here. I mean, original tailpiece. See how that, it's a cute little tailpiece. These are made by Gibson. So that's why they're highly sought after, or I guess. Um, some things of note. Um, these tuner, tuning pegs, it has, the, I put these on Waverly Planetary Tuning Pegs. And what's cool that it includes is the original tuning pegs, friction style. So what I did here, which didn't harm the factory, whatever of the banjo, I put this piece of plywood in between here because of, see how thin this headstock is on these things? So the tuners didn't work right. So I just cut this piece of plywood and then drew Sharpie all over it and then put it here between the tuning pegs and the headstock, but it doesn't actually, it's not attached and it's not drilled you know, or anything like that or glued. So it's in there as a spacer plate so that I could do the wave release over the friction pegs and, and the fifth string. So, um, and then I put this white plastic head on it and what, it, and it also comes with the, uh, what I think is the original calf skin head. And then the other highly sought after bit is that the rim is a 5 8 thickness, which means that if you want to, you can convert this, you can put a master tone tone ring on this because it's like basically a Gibson from the 30s. So that's the things to note. Here's the back of it. This thing's in like really good all original condition other than the things that I have done. <laughs> the other thing is these white paint markers. So I think you could just take a razor blade to the fingerboard, you know, and just wipe that off pretty easy. Anyway, I'm asking 1200, well, I was gonna t put it all back to, okay, here's the other things we need to look at. So this banjo would make a good, a good like finger picking banjo probably, or whatever, I mean. I'm not gonna do a lot of playing demonstration stuff in this video, but maybe at a later video. But check it out. This is the like original case for it. So that's part of it, which it's duct taped together, I see. Here is what I think is the original head. And then here, the original friction pegs. So all that comes with it. So I'm asking 1200, I was gonna ask $1,200 after putting it, the original tuners back on and razor scraping the white marker off. But the tuners cost me 200 bucks. 
So I'm thinking if somebody wants it right now, ready to go, playable with the new tuners on it, and doesn't care about the white marker, which would be cool. Um, Cause I don't feel like scraping it off. Um, 1400, then I don't have to do anything to it. If I have to like put it back and all that for 1200, then that's more annoying, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, if somebody's interested, I'm gonna put my email below. And then, and you, you're welcome to come try it out. In Weaverville, North Carolina. So, yep.